Hello people, good morning. Welcome to the first episode of Planet Michel in Israel. Uh, I am in uh, Rishon Lezion uh, at Lisa's farm place. I, sleep here, I slept here uh, last night and I stay here till tonight and then I travel to the north to visit Sarit and Levana where I will stay for five days. And Lisa is busy in the kitchen and she's making shakshuka for breakfast and I really like that. But first I'm gonna show you around a little bit because this is a little paradise. Well, this is Lisa's house. I stay in the guest room upstairs. It's a really nice wooden house. Look. And there are a lot of uh, fruit trees everywhere like mandarin, uh, lemon, grapefruit, star fruits, everything. Look this is a big palm tree with dates and I will show you. Look. Fresh dates from the tree. I have to peel it a little bit. Hmm. Oh, by the way, I slept last night for 12 hours because the night before I traveled to Israel and I didn't sleep because I traveled at night and I'm not, not a really good sleeper in airplanes. So this night I slept for 12 hours. Look how beautiful. I'll show you around. Look, this is one of the cats. And I miss my own cat. <laughs> so I have a new cat here. Hey, sweetie. Yes. <laughs> there are a few cabins here for rent and a house. So if you want to come to Israel, you want to stay here, contact me. It's very nice to stay here. And what I said, I stay here in the house of Lisa and Uri in the guest room. Look, this is uh, star fruit carambola, and I think you can eat it from the tree. Let me see. Look here. Well, this is one of the cabins here. Oh, this is nice. This is olive tree. Look, they are everywhere. But you cannot eat it now. Um, These are mandarin, I think. Or maybe this is something else, but these are mandarins. Or maybe lemon, I'm not sure. Oh, I'll eat this later. Look, here's a horse. Hello. Bogatov. Look how beautiful this is. Paradise. This is Lisa's car. So and now I'm going inside for the shakshuka. I am hungry, so let's see. Look. Tables and chairs everywhere. And it's nice to tell you this is the first time I am in Israel in November and the temperature is really nice. It's more than 20 degrees, but it's not extremely hot. And I like this. Nice weather. And everything goes, uh, goes much quicker now. So, well, let's go inside. Well, the table is prepared. Lisa is making shakshuka now, and I really like it. And I'm hungry. I made shakshuka at home a few years ago for a video, so when you click the link above you can check it. It's a Dutch video, but um, yeah, I love it. And shakshuka is very popular in, the, um, in Israel. It's a breakfast uh, dish and also in the whole Middle East, I think. 
It's very healthy. It's made of uh, tomatoes, paprika, eggs, some herbs. It's really good. So I will show you the process. This is uh, bell pepper, I think, paprika. Some tomatoes. All the onions and the garlic are in the pan already. Look, very nice kitchen. And this is the house. I will show you. And upstairs is the room where I sleep. Look how beautiful. And we eat some bread, pitas, with the shakshuka. Here we have uh, fresh orange juice from the garden. I love juice. Pepper, and she adds some salt as well. Paprika. Oh, Italian herbs. Wow. And now she adds some, I don't know. <laughs> Hot chili. Ah, chili pepper. Well, this is a jintan or cumin seed. That's a very important ingredient. And some uh, chicken stock powder. Very nice. And this is a dish you can make it how you like it. It's not a really, um, how do you say it, a traditional. Yeah, it's traditional, but you can add everything you like. So every home has its own recipe or restaurant. Well, this is burikas. It's um, very nice. It's uh, like a puff pastry with cheese inside. And in Turkey they call this um, burek. Well, this is the most important ingredient, the tomato. Well, now Lisa adds the uh, bell pepper. It's an, another type of bell pepper. In Holland we call it punt paprika, but this is bell pepper. Okay, now Lisa adds the tomato to the shakshuka. It smells very good. Okay, this is the coriander, fresh coriander. Also important for the taste, for the flavor. I think it's almost time to add the eggs in a few minutes. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, now I have to wait for a few minutes and then we can eat. Shakshuka is ready. We can eat. Oh. Wow, look at this. Shakshuka. Hey, look at I this. love it. What's this? This is a fruit of uh, vanilla. You know? Really? Vanilla? Yeah. yeah. You eat it like uh, a ice cream. Really? This, yeah. Wow, I never saw this before, but this is vanilla yeah. taste. Yeah, I don't know how to use it. Okay, me neither. We need time, we need time to, to check it, to read about it. Wow, it looks fantastic. Thank you very much. You're welcome, you're welcome. Enjoy. Well, this is Uri, this is um, Lisa's husband. Yeah. We met before in Jerusalem, oh, uh, yeah. years ago. <laughs> Thank you for this very nice breakfast. Lisa? Lisa. Lachaim. 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 I taste um, the coriander and the, the ginger. Hmm. Well, this is what they call breakfast in Israel. In Holland we eat a piece of bread with some cheese. This is more like a power lunch than breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Lisa. Okay, people, I'm gonna eat my breakfast. After that I'm gonna take a shower and 
Tonight I will travel to the north to Mikola Emek to visit Sarit and Levana and I will stay there till Sunday. So, people, see you later. Bye.